Hey guys, this is Siri, and this happens to be another Frozen review, but this happens to be the new Frozen Tsum Tsums, which came out today, the same date as the limited edition Anna came out, and all those new limited edition dolls. So I'm very excited with these Tsum Tsums, because when I went to the Disney store, literally, apart from the people, like, massacrating themselves to get the limited edition dolls, people were literally grabbing the Tsum Tsums like they were hotcakes, especially since Tsum Tsums aren't as expensive for the collector. Like compared to a limited edition doll, which is over $100, these Tsum Tsums are relatively cheap. They are $4.95 a piece, which personally I think is a really good deal for the amount of detail. Not only that, they do originate from Japan, and Japan happens to be a beautiful like country and the Things Japan produces are beautiful, like I'm not even joking. I own so much things from Japan and I couldn't be happier with those purchases. So I'm very excited for these Tsum Tsums and let's get started because you guys are probably like, you want to get into the Tsum Tsums just as much as I do. So I did stack them up and this is not, I don't think this is the way the brochure or the little ad with it. It has it stacked in, but I just stacked it like this because I did want to test the theory if they did stack upon stack upon snack upon each other. And they do, and they are really, really cute. They are, if you guys did not know, hamsters. Like, have the body of a hamster, but obviously they aren't hamsters. But they do have the body of the ha of hamsters, and they have beans on the bottom, which allows them to stack upon stack. To each other and these I believe a lot of people the only thing that the people don't like is that it does not have their name on it but obviously this one is Elsa who wouldn't know Elsa the Snow Queen and she's very beautifully detailed I'm very happy that they even added the little like a little silky material for her dress and her face is very very cute and she's very cute and little and chubby and this is basically how the little pamphlet looks like with the tag that's basically what it says originate originally from Japan these Tsum Tsum stackable plush come in your favorite Disney characters collect them all to build a tower of cute and cuddly friends so basically it just recaps of what I said it says that it does come from Japan and that these you can stack them upon each other even if they're not in the frozen line and you want to stack them they do and this is the price for it and if you're in Canada it is $5.95 which is still a relatively good price I think for something like this and she's very detailed as you guys see and now on to the next one because I know you guys just don't want to see a, a, a five minute video with the Elsa one so the next one I have is Olaf and Olaf was one of the ones that actually sold out pretty quick um they had so many bags of Tsum Tsums that they had to keep bringing them out and the Olaf one was the one that actually sold out completely even the big ones which is a bit of a shocker because if you guys know the big ones do um cost more expensive than the little ones i believe the the biggest size you can get is 25 dollars. Uh, do not quote me on that but i do believe that is and he has his little hair and it's super super cute and his little tooth and he has his little beans on the bottom very very cute so olaf like and to be honest my favorite one is spen and i'm gonna show you why right now he is very very detailed for what Spen is, which is a reindeer, and he's very, very cute. I do love his antlers. Spen is freaking adorable, and he has his little tongue out, which I thought was a very adorable detail, and I personally do love this Spen. Like, if I had more money, I'm not even joking, guys, I would have probably bought a couple more of Spen because he is very, very cute, and he does have beans in his bottom, just like the other ones. The next one I have is Anna. And Anna has the little stripe in her hair. Mine just happens to be a little cracked, but that's the way I got it from the Disney store. So I don't think it's their fault. I think it's just the way, like, if it was shipped or something. But other than that, she's a very good quality Anna. Very accurate, like, chibi little versions to the movie. And I do love her dress on her. She's, it's very cute, and she has beans on the bottom as well. The next two are the boys. And... I do love the boys, but I'm not that big fan of how they did Kristoff's hair. He kind of looked like a girl when I first saw him. At first, when I saw him on the Frozen Tsum Tsum stand, I was like, who is this? And then I was like, wait, no, this is Kristoff. But I do not like the way they did his hair. It looks more feminine than masculine, in my opinion. 
but he is really cute and he does have the beans on the bottom that's how he looks like on the sides and the peg and the next one is Hans and Hans actually looks more masculine than Kristoff which is funny because in the movie it's kind of like the reverse but anyway he's very cute very detailed at first I did not find a Hans I had to go up to an a Disney store employee and ask her hey do you guys have Hans and she's like I didn't see him but then she looked on the bottom of her Tsum Tsum bin because she was restocking them and she found a whole bunch of Hans so I did get a Hans so I did get the complete set as you see and to be honest guys I'm very very happy with what I paid for these were I believe in total I have the receipt right next to me $31.80 with tax so if you're interested and you have a couple of bucks to spend, I would strongly recommend getting these. Even if it's like your first time getting Tsum Tsums, these are totally worth it. Very, very adorable for what they are. And Anna fell off. But anyway, guys, I hope you like this review and thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And bye, guys.